Hi. This is Jiva from Ayurvedic Beds. Usually people heard about Kapok silk cotton or Isla Vampanju, but most not seen. They know that this is good for health, but don't know deep about it. Here we are going to see, what is it? What it does? And its varieties, the medicinal qualities. Without delay let's LOKK at it. It is from the cotton family. Fibers are lengthy and soft and silkish in color. Usually it is bit hard to identify and learn the quality of Kapok. It needs enormous attention and dedication. So in decades the share the knowledge within the family. Many times I seen that few Ayurvedic doctors collect some root stems and flowers or leaves from my dad. That too particularly native grade dot in rural side of Tamilandu particularly a roadside people ask us to make a bed party colory from native Kapok. These two forced me to see the technical and scientific terms. As an engineer I would like to scientifically learn it. So we collected Kapok pods roots flowers fibers and stem samples all around the world. What you see in the screen is the list of sample photos of Kapok varieties collected around the world. We took these to TBI centers for research and came with results as. Before see the internal content, I would like to share an important info. Picture you see is known as balsa pod. It is a variety of Kapok from Indonesia. It is imported in India, and called indica. It looks like a softened or smashed fiber. In our experience we hear that it creates itches when they sleep on it. Chances that they may have high infection. Please avoid using it. What you are seeing on the screen is the comparison between hybrid and native. Native grade only shows that it have good level of biological properties. In hybrid amount of fiber is high, and the color became white. Nothing else. The pipe-like fiber is made up of cellulose alpha cellulose and wax leginin and so on. Now you are watching the microscopic image of a single fiber. It differ from ordinary cotton. In Kapok, there is halo in center, that is vacuum. And it has difference in look. Means, other side of the fiber is closed state. That it makes a magical halo. Nevertheless cellulose observes heat and transforms it. The aroma of leginin in the Kapok silk cotton fiber, repels the infectitual items around it. So traditionally in Siddhavidi a Kapok tree is called as Zilava Maram Padupogathu means that it not get rotten. Practically we have seen that other than native trees, hybrid trees get infected. So there is no problem in that, but you lose the money and medicinal qualities of the filling. It is not even from Karur Madurai Salem Dini, most are hybrid. We get better from Bargar and Sath Yamanagalam area. For an example, we dipped native Kapok silk cotton in a urine sample. And in no time it killed max max of infectuals. What else you want from it? Usually wax stick each other. But it is different. Waxy in the fiber gives better buoyancy. So it is so soft. Due to its non-stickiness of fiber, there were much space in it. So it is airy and breathable. So you get better airflow around your body when you make bed or mattress out of it. As per medicinal science, it improves immunity. Increased eases blood circulation. As it have positive frequency, it nullify the negativity around you. Can I tell you a secret? You definitely say oops. Yes, if you ate briyani, you may seen Marathi Moku, do you know what it is? Where it is from? Yes, it is Kapok. It is a sweetener and it keeps the food for long. That too, they always take it from native Kapok tree. It tastes better than hybrid. We suggest and recommend to use native Kapok made beds pillows and mattresses. Thank for watching.